You are attacked spiritually. Pneumatica. I'm a pastor. Yeah. You are a pastor. My name is uh, David and I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. You are free in Jesus' name. There was a gunshot in your dream. Δεν ξέρω αν θυμάσαι, αλλά κάποια φορά σε πυροβόλησαν μέσα στο όνειρο. I was just wondering what happened. Somebody shoot me. I am under spiritual attack. The demonic attack started. I woke up uh, with a bang sound of a gun. When I looked around, there was nobody. So it was true. The dream is true. So that gunshot is a spiritual gunshot, which since then it has started your problem with your heart. And sometimes you feel a sharp pain. It's choking you right in your heart. I struggle with blood pressure and I take blood pressure medication and sometimes I get that sharp pain right on my heart and I wake up sometimes sweating. Why you are attacked? Even if you are a pastor, it's not everybody you should lay your hand on. Did you know that? I'm learning from you. So many pastors experience the same problem. Anyone that come and say, hey, Pastor, pray for me. Man of God, pray for me. You just say, okay, let me pray for you. You lay your hand, you pray for them. The level of every possessed differs. Some people who are possessed, they are of very high level spiritually from the other side, darkness. I go for anybody that asks for prayer. I pray for deliverance, I pray for healing. If you don't know, as a pastor, who is the person that you are praying for, you may likely fall into their trap. I always go for it, I don't, I don't hesitate. They are just looking for a point of contact. Even a mere handshake. I'm not even saying when you lay your hand. Even a handshake. Pastor, good morning. They give you a handshake. You have to give back, right? Yeah. When, when that is contact point. So on the outside, they say, good morning, Pastor. On the inside, they say, be destroyed. Packaging is deceptive. Judas Iscariot, with a kiss, he betrayed Jesus. I had this experience because I was praying for a woman. You prayed for one woman, she was an agent of darkness, and when the moment you pray, something felt wrong. Then attack start, then problem start in the heart. That's when the, the issue started. Satan has his own agents of darkness, and when they know we are destroying their kingdom, they will try to to test you. I need to stop accepting any offer to pray for people. So as a pastor, as a man of God, always in your heart meditate in the name of Jesus Christ. If somebody say, pastor, pray for me, you ask Jesus, Jesus, who is this person talking to me? If Jesus tells you, you can go ahead, pray for them. I will heal the person, I will deliver the person. You can go ahead and pray for them. But if Jesus tells you, hold on, it's not yet his time. This is trap, so you have to hold on. And it takes humility to do that. Imagine if somebody come to you and say, Pastor, pray for me, and you say, I'm sorry, I cannot pray for you now. <laughs> so you come back tomorrow again. Because you have to ask God that. You have to ask Jesus, who is that person? Men of God are agents of light on this earth. Satan has his own agents of darkness. You know, this is what you hear and what you read in the Bible. But this is what I saw. I've seen people getting delivered. I've seen people uh, like there was a man with a, who couldn't walk and then he started to walk. I can see it right there. And when the man of God came and prophesied, especially on me, it was very accurate what he was talking about. So today it is exposed, it is over. Okay? Σήμερα αυτό εκτέθηκε και τελείωσε. Δόξα στον Θεό. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο ποδοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Thank you Lord. Σε ευχαριστώ Κύριε. You are free in Jesus name. Είσαι ελεύθερος στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. In Jesus name. Στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. So he is a pastor. He came all the way from Canada from the other side of the earth. So if it takes you to go to the moon to solve your problem, are you ready to do that? Are you ready? The distance from Canada to Greece is just like from Canada to the moon. He has come with his faith and God now rescued him. Now he can continue. He can continue with his ministry. God will help him to settle whatever that is not settled. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm free.